Did you hear any of that start bit? Hey, thank God I was saying. Great. Let me start my <laughs> intro again. Go on, go on, runners. You do, do, do a bit again. I'm sure they'd love to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> right, welcome in, everybody. Welcome to the Assault International Circuit live in Qatar. This is a 3.3 six mile circuit with one straight 16 turns <laughs> 11 to the right five to the left there is one drs zone all the corners are medium to high speed i am your co-commentator for this evening owen fh rodders and your main commentator is jp racing how are we doing today jp <laughs> yeah i'm good man good looking forward to Season opener, season 10 for RSF1 for Div 2. Looking like it'll be a strong season uh, with a lot of people coming up from the Div below and then <clears throat> some more people coming in. So it looks like it'll be a fairly decent season, a mix up between some of the teams. But yeah, overall, it is looking good as we've obviously started uh, started the uh, qualifying on Q1 here. Um, we have got two people that will not have a quali ban in place, which is Aaron and ORT Elijah. This is all from instances that have <laughs> happened last season that have carried over, but we're not going to go into those instances. <laughs> Trust Aaron to be one of those drivers, uh, myself included. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but but yeah. uh, no, it should be good if the guys get us underway. A couple of people out on mediums, different kind of strat, and then someone softs. Uh, as we apologize, we missed the first couple uh, of people doing their quality laps in terms of technical issues. Um, but Immortal leading the way on a 122.051, uh, followed by Nif Nifty Nazri and Diamond Dushi. <laughs> Cruz um, Mick was on a lap, but he has sadly invalidated his lap. Go down to the other McLaren of Zach. What time can he set as he hits the DRS zone at the start finish line? So here we go. A 23 1 is good enough for four at this minute. Firefish. Or Michaels. Or Mansell. Whatever you know him as. Num numerous names. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as Michaels is coming around that final corner looking to set a lap, put a decent lap in for Alpi. Uh, what will he get? Trying to squeeze it all out up to the line. He pulls. 123 flat. Completely flat. New fastest <laughs> time. Mm. What no, I mean, what no, or whatever you want to call it. What so, no, putting in a decent lap. Uh, I'm sure. 21 9. Uh, Aaron, his teammate, will be happy with that for, uh, performance. Um, but he is a bit of a quality merchant. Old what no, he's stuck, stuck in some decent laps from uh, last season and I uh, expect him to do well this season. Uh, guys, if you're in the or watching the stream, feel free to put any comments or questions or anything in the chat. Got it open, so we'll be trying to interact in between uh, watching or streaming these guys and uh, dealing with you. A couple of people, uh, aka Good evening, Legend Adam. Twitch, putting in Adam Moore for Div 3, Gravedigger for Div 3. Yeah, good, good, season, good evening, though. Adam. Good evening, Invade. Uh, good evening, Salty. Uh, yeah, we're all doing well. Yeah, we're all doing well, Adam. Ah, good morning, Jedi. <laughs> Even though that's good morning, oh. but still. He's probably just woke <laughs> up from a nap. Probably. Hey, Easton. How we doing? Thank you for the uh, let's go chat. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, we're all good, Grave Digger. How's we doing? These people back in on back in the McLaren boys. We did say, well, we had we obviously did the uh, pre-show with Michael, so he did, did a fabulous job 
putting on the pre-show. Um, but I, if I remember rightly, Rodders, I think it was overall for team-wise. We were looking at Red Bull, I think it was? Uh, I think you are correct, yeah. So, I think they're going to be there. And you have some, obviously, people to watch. Um in terms of the lower guys coming up, in terms of Salmon and uh, Aaron, I wonder if they've passed their love notes to each other this week in terms of setups. Um, but um, we'll have to see. Mm. Um, you obviously have got some other strong people there like Eagle and Elijah, um, who's normally a bit of a quality merchant as well. So we'll see what see what they uh, come we, up with. We just have to wait and see if Aaron and Elijah have got their super licenses <clears throat> ready for the start of this race. <laughs> Maybe so. Maybe so. Uh, we did miss uh, quite a uh, soggy putting in a, a 122.6 on those mediums, as he normally does. Who else? Tornish going. going oh, he went purple sector two and then uh, ran wide in sector three. I never know what to think about Cornish. I've heard a lot about the guy, and I've heard he's he's very quick, but then he I've heard he's about quick one, but inconsistent. One, one particular race where he, he basically put it on pole and then uh, flunked at the start, <laughs> but <laughs> we'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll, we'll see some more of him. Um, yeah. Matty's invalidated. Who have we Eagle. Got Eagle in Sector 2 coming to the beginning of Sector 3. Oh. In the Ferrari. Obviously, champion from, from last season was see if he can put anything he's gone purple sector two that could be just the game no setting he's gone purple it could be coming around that final corner oh, oh he's no he's pinned it oh! he's out he's oh oh no uh, what we got? Uh, Aaron retired because of a, a quali ban for Trinus. Um, <laughs> that, I, I don't know what to... Oh, dear. W <laughs> spam in the chat. <laughs> yeah, Suggy Salmon and Diamond Douchey have set her uh, 122.6 and 122.9 on the medium. What do you think about that setting the uh, quality times on the mediums, Rodders? Um, why not? If you can save well, a set of stuff to the race, why not? I suppose if you've got the pace to do it, why not? But it's just yeah. whether they're last in the uh, temperatures here at Qatar. <coughs> being being out in the desert, I wonder if Soggy can take some of that sand out of his car. Yeah, throw out some of the concrete blocks he's got in there. <laughs> As Noah Bachelor says, Aaron Naughty with the qualifying bag. <laughs> uh, Is anyone on the lap? Uh, we got Charlie. Charlie. He's invalidated though. Oh. Cracky's in the pits. Uh, we've got Chris careers mix, mix and validated. I think that's it. I think this is his. Yeah, this is his cool down lap. Yeah. So, so he's coming into the pits. Uh, he's going. Yeah, I didn't uh, race guitar because I had a race ban. So I can't, I can, all I can tell you about my Qatar last last season was I I didn't I qualified okay and then I didn't make the first corner. That's how that's how my race went. <laughs> so it was solid solid performance overall. <laughs> yeah, well, um, we were talking about Cornish's incident, uh, obviously him crashing off the line. But what about me on the last lap halfway round? I put it into a wall, didn't I? Two seasons ago. I think you still got points for it, though. Did you get points for it? Uh, I can't no. Remember. I binned it. No. <laughs> you binned it, binned it. Uh, okay. Yeah, so. Uh, what we got going in the chat? Charismic. Patrona's saying Charismic should be in Div 3. 
Potentially, he did well mm. last. Uh, he uh, well, season, we, didn't he? Did we just have to see his season? times. We'll see how he gets on. Um, in, in retrospective, uh, what, what's what we call it? Playing with the big boys, is that what they call it? Mm, well, not quite. Uh, well, the bigger not quite, but... boys, not the biggest boys. Bigger boys. boys. Uh, Cornish going top of a 121.8. Setting in a solid lap for the Alpine team. Up oh, the Alpine boys. Um... <laughs> Uh, what else have we got going in the chat? Uh, do, 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 do. He won D3 last season. He won D4 last season. Chris McDid. Um, Biscuit saying I very much remember that. Uh, Stars is in the chat saying this is his worst trap pro- Patronus. So, what can we'll Craggy what... do? Can he boost the hopes Let's of see. Williams? Just can't. Just coming to the end of six one. Twenty six nine. Should be a good time. Miss. Here to talk. So what can? Yeah, no, sure. you can't, Aaron. Uh, did you? Did you? Did you, did you take the box? <laughs> I've known, uh, yeah. So, you have now. So just while he's on his cheeky little collie ban, uh, Aaron thought he'd, you know, actually put some, some work in in the comms because he's not doing any comms this season. And, and once uh, in his life, <laughs> putting in some work. That is true for once. <laughs> um, and he thought he'd join us for the uh, opening quali session. So welcome, Aaron, to the Div2 stream. Thank you very much. What do you think of... Obviously, uh, I spoke about you and... Uh, Soggy sending love notes to each other last season. Uh, what do you think about his? Uh, what do you think about his quali so far? Um, his quali is looking pretty mid so far. Um, we biscuits is in front of him, which is a bit concerning. So um, hopefully he can find some pace. Um, still trying to get rid of the tears of laughter from Eagles' um, little spin at the uh, final corner. But um, yeah, game's a game. Um, looks like he'll be starting at the back with me along with Elijah. So some of the old Dev three people. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. Um, quite concerned the fact that Cornish has gone fastest, um, showing that he's <laughs> clearly lost a bit of sand this season. Um, locker doing locker things in P7. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. Good to see Watton was carrying at the moment. I, I, I agree with Invade. Piss off, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Love you too, Invade. How are, how are you feeling about Katara? And how do you think you'll be getting on in the race? Um, not too bad, I don't think. Um, no, quite like it. Yeah, me and Soggy did quite well last season. I think it was like P3 and P4, which claimed us the constructors. So, um, obviously can't do it tonight. But, um, yeah, hoping for just as good of a race. I think it's going to be obviously more difficult from the back um, after my ban. But, um, yeah, we move are we on. Feeling some, are we feeling some points on the board? Um, a couple of points is the target, I'd say. But, um, yeah, we'll see yeah. how it goes. Well, Craggy yes. seems to be doing well for Williams. He's put it up into fourth. The Q1. Lovely. Cornish on top, yet again. I tell you what, <laughs> it's nice to see some of the old, uh, the old Div Three guys up there in terms of what and Craggy it is. It's good, nice to see. Randy Gandy. Randy Gandy. Do you know what? I can. Nifty Nasri. <laughs> so it's Salmon. Randy Gandy. Yeah. I Randy Gandy. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't heard, his, I haven't heard his voice in so long. I <laughs> the, old, the, old di- the old diamond douchebag. Uh, as Soggy has well and truly let a bit of sand out. <laughs> Let's put it Go on, on son. Yeah. On, <laughs> on top for Q1. I wonder why there was a load of uh, grey coloured dust on the track. <laughs> He's throwing the blocks out again. Oh, Only old concrete. Uh, who else is going through? I'm a douche, puts it up into false. Puts it up into P13. Don't believe Michael's. This is the end of Charismic. Control, Charismic is out. So, who were we looking at out? Charlie. Oh, uh, one McLaren, Aaron. Eagle and Elijah so far. 
What can Charlie do though? Back of the grid looks what, fire to be fair. Yeah, it does to be fair. <laughs> that back row. Um, <laughs> well, let's see what Charlie can do in the Mercedes. I think he's going to get uh, another lap in. It hasn't been able to put a time in yet, I don't think. What will happen? Did he inv uh, uh, invalidate earlier? I think he did. Don't know, maybe he's just not gone out. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, laziness. We Someone has to. You know, we've got to liven up the <laughs> chat somehow. Better stars and his sandbags. Stars needs to be put into Div 3. There's no question asked. I want to know how many £20 notes he put under the table to get into Div 4. <laughs> 20s, 50s. If, if someone can <laughs> let me know from the admin team, that would be fantastic. He's probably used them to uh, line his car to weigh it down. Days freak back this year? Question mark. Oh, Who Charlie's in. Charlie most... knocks out Firefish. Yeah. <clears throat> Michael's is out. Oh, Mansell. I don't know is going to feel bad. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> I don't think he'll be mind. He'll be able to then you know, sit back, relax a bit, and then concentrate on his race, will he? I don't think he'll mind too much. Let's so uh, I've got a quality bomb star in 18th. Look. You break the rules, Aaron. You deal with the consequences. I beg your pardon. <laughs> no, he done it fair and square. It's just eagle crushed out. So exactly. That's, problem. that's not my issue. Wow. Big up to Wee Biscuits as well, making it into Q2 in his first um, Dev Two appearance. <coughs> this stuff. Right. Let, uh... Let's invite some people in here for a talk. I want to get Eagle in here, I think he's got a lot to say. Oh, I've already invited Eagle. <laughs> you go through that, I'll go through the, uh, so, uh, through to Q2, Soggy Salmon, RS from Cornish, Watnall, Diamond Dushi, Immortal, Craggy, Blaze, Zach, Rossi, Locker, Matty, Randy Gandhi, Nifty Nasri, Wee Biscuits, and Charlie rounding it off. Out in Q1, it's Firefish, Michaels, Charismic, Aaron with his quali ban, Eagle with an unfortunate crash, and Elijah also with the quali ban. Good evening, I Charismic. How are, how are we? Good, mate. Not too bad, not too bad. You? Yeah, not too bad. Have you included your audio? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, sweet. Explain what happened. You couldn't obviously seem to get a lap together. Is it just a track that you don't like, or did something um, happen on track? I yeah, I don't really like this track to be fair, I'm, and I'm slow. <laughs> I wouldn't say you're slow. It's just obviously a track that you don't like. Where do you think um, you could have obviously done better around here? <laughs> uh, everywhere. <laughs> Sectors one, two, and three. <laughs> in, in what respect? As in, like, no, I just, I just couldn't put laps together. To be fair, I'm, I've, I've taken a few assists off since last season as well, so I'm just sort of still learning. That's fair enough. Any uh, other questions from you two? Um, no, I think it's just obviously you've <clears throat> come up from, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, winning the Div Four Championship. Yeah. How do, how different is it from racing in Div 4 to obviously Div 2? Obviously it's going to be a lot harder and a lot more difficult, but how are you finding it mixing within mixing within these guys? I mean, in the long run, it'll be good, because obviously I've, I've put up some pace for some people that are faster than me, that have gone from the front to the back now, so that'd be quite interesting. Yeah, no, I think it, obviously you, you race, race with faster people, you generally gain uh, or get better speed and get, get better yourself. Um, uh, what, what's your thoughts on uh, Stars off into Div 3? <laughs> I agree. Get him in Div 3! He, he beat me Head last here fast. in the practice race on Sunday when it was, he's faster than me. <laughs> Dev 1 then! <laughs> Scrap Div 3. I think, that, I, think that train, I think that train has run its course, gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> I think I think we actually, actually, I think we need to start the whole Soggy Salmon and Aaron to F1 because they've been saying how F1 is so slow this year. <laughs> Their words, not mine. I'm just quoting. SLR or 150 quid to move him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll match it. I'll make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michael's unlucky, just bad timing for you to retire. Unfortunately. Sad to see Hello. you not in 
you too. I love how charismatic is in the same like situations. Like my first thought when you invited me was like, "Why are you inviting me? We're slow. What else <laughs> do you want us to say? We're slow." Oh, we yeah, like to have a little chat with you, Michaels. Uh, I only join because whenever I invite people and they don't, I'm very upset about it. So I'm here now. <laughs> what do you want to ask? Me? <laughs> oh, cheers, grumpy old fart. <laughs> <laughs> I am now. But we're not like um, most commentators, so of course we're going to invite you. Go on. Mm. Go on. What do you want to ask me? Go ahead. <laughs> uh, anyone got any questions while I uh, figure out something? Because I did just ask No, I'm all good, Ronald. This is all you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyone in chat got anything to ask? Oh, here comes um, the king of sandbags oh, himself. Here he is. <laughs> oh, we're all here now. Um, <laughs> no, same, same as Chris, Mick. I don't like this track at all apart from japan why is it on the calendar hashtag where is silverstone baku bahrain etc um it's okay because i'm missing japan so. yeah etc um i don't like this track at all um and i'll be honest Div div 2 is kind of like i'm kind of on the verge to be honest i was either going to be div 3 or div 2 if i was going to be div 2 it's going to be a challenge and it is um yeah it's just I lost like a tenth through turn six, if that, and that's what cost me. So that's the reason why I'm here and not still going round. But that's all it takes. It was very close. So, Well, where do you think you can uh, get to from 16th? Uh, survive lap one and turn one, etc. Um, that's always a good option, right? I mean, if I can get 10th, <laughs> if I can get 10th, and have less than 12 seconds of penalties, then I'll be happy. All right, so that's that's me. I'm I'm looking to get this track out of the way, and then I get Suzuka out of the way, and then I get what's the other one? Singapore out of the way, and then I'm all right. But yeah, this this one I don't like at all. Mm -mm. That's fair enough. Well, anyway, have a good race, guys. I hope it all goes well for you. <laughs> yeah, we need it. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Thank you very much for joining. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, while we've been talking uh, to Michaels and Chris Mick, where Watnall's put in a, uh, <clears throat> a P1 lap and Q2 of a 121.7, and Nifty Nazi put in a lap in a 122.1, and Randy Gandhi a 122.7. Um, a lot of people, and while you're talking there, Rodders, a lot of people, what I'm seeing. Uh, a lot of is a lot of lap invalidations so i reckon it will be a lot on penalties tonight i think if well, people clean, just blame me for that track. well they've got to blame someone <laughs> to be fair um also by while we're while we're off the topic uh, legend said he would chip in a tenner for staff to move to div three just so um <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> It's not our fault that chat wants to donate. Chat. Stop doing yeah. that. We're going to start. Start a GoFundMe page. GoFundMe page for to move to So, I'm just saying. <laughs> we've had so many donation requests, stars. We've had to uh, turn over a new page. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. That's just not the, the case. She's got the image of Rodder sat by a phone now taking phone donations. <laughs> <laughs> There's about eight drivers in F4 who are way faster than what probably I am. Oh dear. Adam said oh. he's going to chip in too. Right, that's another one to the list. How much, Adam? <laughs> uh, Petronas says he loves Singapore, so he's glad that's on the track. Uh, Aaron and, and Invader just argue with each other as standard. Uh, <laughs> right, I'll leave you guys to it. Well, thank you for joining, Stars. Patronus has also said he'd chip in 40 stars, so it's, it's out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll chip in a thread if that helps. <laughs> They're expensive nowadays, to be fair, man. Yeah. <laughs> all, all the money okay. you're chipping in, he'd probably ditch your sandbags and just put the money right, in his anyway, car instead. <laughs> we, should probably, we should probably start saying something about this boss race. Um, <laughs> I've just done lap with Cornish. He's, it says he's gone purple in Sector 2, but then he also says he's... <laughs> Just invalidate, and I don't. There's so many colours on that map. I don't know what is going on. 
<laughs> Ferrari moving out the way of a car. Oh, he's going in the pits. Oh. Graggy's on the lap in sector two. Graggy. Graggy. Right, we'll watch Craggy then. <coughs> oh dear. Um, that's not enough. It says he's gone purple. We'll see if he has gone purple. He's running low on fuel as well. Oh, that is really nice. Sector 1 7 minutes 15 left in this session The RS comes open Get him a start finish What's he going to put on the board? Goes top 121.4 oh. <laughs> oh, that well, is quick well, time Well, 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 well <laughs> There is well and truly Sand all over this track. <laughs> what is... Oh, oh dear. Right, is anyone else there in a minute? No, just Craggy, so we'll... Uh, Locker has so... just gone out for an outlet. Oh, was he? Oh, dear. Because that's so interesting, oh. isn't it? Look, Aaron, <laughs> if there's nobody else out, <laughs> what do you want me to do? Um, we'll have a look at the chat. Why don't we look at the chat? Uh, Legend is saying can't race tomorrow. Uh, he's back next week. 100% race next week. From Kota. That should be um, an interesting race. Tottie Ball's like saying Legend did free champ this season. What do we want? I don't think so. The way it's going at the no. minute and the time that has been set by Craggy. I think it might be Craggy, you know, in that Williams. It's looking quick. Is that is that where you left it for him, Aaron? In, in the Williams, is it? Is that why it's... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Vettel <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a lot of money. The 300 quid to move Aaron to diff one. Is that 300 quid going to me? It's happily. Is that Great British Pound or is that dollars or is that what, what we're saying? In fact, he just, just said if Aaron wins tonight, I will personally send him a Fredo. Last to last masterclass in coming. <laughs> by Royal Mail or by hand delivery? Like, that's what I like. Oh, you can't send it via Royal Mail. They take months. Yeah, and it'll be bloody as twice as expensive as the Fredo. <laughs> Aaron, don't DNF is the real question. <laughs> oh, he's going to hand deliver it. He'll personally hand deliver it to oh, you. I can't wait for that. <laughs> One melted Freddo coming Aaron's way. Lovely. Can't wait. <laughs> anyway, Cornish is on a lap. Just finishing off sector one. Let's have a look. Oh, he's invalidated. No. Oh. Cornish, stop Who's invalidating. Push a little bit less and get through. He's not on a lap. Is Locker? Locker's on a lap, isn't he? Let's no, just go back to Locker. Locker's on a lap? Yeah, he is. I saw his ERS level and I thought, ah, he might be on a cooldown. He's used it. Right, he's going around the last corner. He's coming to the DRS zone. He's putting his foot down. Craggy's retired. He thinks he's done enough. What is Locker pulled out? 121.8. Going to P5, just find his teammate there, Salmon, uh, on a, also on a 121.8. From 6th down, I think they'll have to go again. Yeah, right. yeah, definitely. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to love you and leave you guys. I'm going to head back to my other party and uh, right. wish you guys best of luck. And uh, yeah, hopefully I survive the first corner. Well, see you later. Night, and uh, yeah, see you later. Bye. Bye. Aaron to crash at turn one. Aaron to crash at turn one. I'm doing odds five to one. Uh, if you want to get your bets in, chuck it in the chat. Um... <laughs> Starting off at a tenner though. Start yeah, at ten, ten pound only. <laughs> no. Uh, who's on a lap? Randy Gandhi's coming around for his lap. Zach is on a lap as well. 
There's Randy Gunny puts it seven for one twenty two one. Zach. Zach is bailed. Is he? Yeah. He's not using any ERS. No, he's uh... no, I'll be saving that back up. Right, Red Bull. Who's on an outlap? He's he's coming into the pits. That's a brave move. I would have stayed out. I would have stayed out and gone for one more at least. Wee Biscuits is going slow, letting Diamond Dishy go by. He's not going to come to flying lap. lap. Who's on a lap? Randy Gandy's not on a lap. Rossi's, Rossi's invalidated. Off the track. So, I think the next one will be Diamond Dishy. See what kind of lap he can put in. A lot of retires coming in. Off to Charlie. And Zach already retiring there, P13, P15. Oh, the Ferrari might get in his way here. Oh, no, the Ferrari bows. I think you need, do need some spatial awareness on that pit exit, though. It just put you oh, straight yeah. out into traffic. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's a bit of a disgusting exit, if I'm honest. No. <laughs> oh, that's right. So, Dom Dushi on his uh, hot lap now. Just looking, he's just finished sector one. Has he? I think he's pulled off there. I think he has. So, Mortal's on his out lap, he's gonna get a lap in. Who else have we got on a lap? Wee Biscuits is invalidated. Matty is on a lap, and it's saying purple sector one. On board. Uh, what we got? Randy's turned to the dark side in the Alpha Tower. He didn't get to choose it, it chose him. <laughs> and uh, it made Matt say, how we, How's uh, we just get to get into Keith through? He is at the minute. Yes, Matty can basically knock out his own teammate. I've got the race director glitch. I can't back out of the race director. Matty has knocked out his own teammate as he puts it on P7-122, basically flat. Uh, the only one who can upset the spurs is Cornish. Ah, oh, he's invalidated anyway. Uh, this puts it on P13. Fan Immortal. Put a lap in to get through to Q3. Let's go, Matty. Cornish is bottled there. Cornish did bottle there, unfortunately. <clears throat> As uh, Immortal comes around the final corner, what has he got left in that tank? Not a lot. It's flashing red. What can he put up? Oh, he's put it on P8. 121.9, knocking out. Diamond Dishu, Wee Biscuits. Putting in a decent lap, but unfortunately not good enough. Just Randy Gandhi scrapes through to Q3. Which is good on the boy, to be fair. Good on him. <laughs> uh, what we've got in the chat. Fuck's that corner flat with Dow. <laughs> yes, Rocket Lolly Nazway P4. Surprise Diamond is out, uh, Cornish bottled it in, Quali, and he might have a good race. Depends, depends. You know Diamond clip it Someone and was... send it in at the end of the first Quali, or end of Same race. Opposite. Diamond, Immortals block me, yeah. Just follow what Rodder said, just clip it and then send it into the um, stewards, processing. 
Wee biscuits, I'll take P11. Yeah, no, decent quality and lucky, very unlucky not to scrape through there at the end there. <coughs> and Daze, Daze Freak is back in the chat. Daze to stream on, um, on Mondays. Div 1. And I hear he had a, he had a quite a good stream last night with, with the turnout that they got. Um, but no, it's nice to see him back in the chat and back in the comms. <laughs> I don't know if is Dave's racing this year. I can't remember. Uh, yes, I think he's F. Well, I know he's F4. Not, I think I know. He knows F4. Uh, what else we got? What a sex card. So, <laughs> you know what? I haven't actually. He's not on the Div Four list. I don't, I don't think, think he is. is. He's not. He's just confirmed in the chat. He's not racing. Not racing this season. Just doing comms. I guess you're probably f maybe focusing on another league then or something. But still nice to see hey. the comms nevertheless. Hey, what's wrong with racing in our league? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> As we get underway for Q3 here in Qatar for uh, RSF1 Div 2. Let's... Cornish is easy on controller. I don't know why you're saying it's so hard. It's easy. <coughs> What's Cornish mean about? He said that Qatar is so hard on controller. I thought Cornish was on a wheel. No, he's playing on pad, apparently. <laughs> I think it's easy. I'd say it's it's easier. It's, I mean, it's it is and it isn't. Like you need to then judge the corners right. It's a lot easier to judge corners on will, but it's just a lot more bloody effort on will, if I'm honest. And maybe I'm just lazy. Who knows? Well, you said it, not us. <laughs> uh, other than the uh, well, that's <laughs> true. Um, you got a new controller, it is. Get some of those cookies. Other than the, the puns I've got from Grave Digger, Quran could be hard. The game itself is awful, and I prefer GSRL to be honest. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. At least you're still doing your bit for the uh, RSF1 in terms of comms for, for Div1, though. So it's all good, mate. It's all good. I find it relatively easy on controller. You're just that. carrying I, too I, much I, speed, I, Cornish, into the corners. That's all it is. Slow down a little bit and you'll be all right. <laughs> Saying that, Mr. Chappell uh, plays, what, pad with no assists on at all, didn't he? And I, I'm surprised how he does that, like, feeling off controller. I'm not sure. Mm, I'm playing pad, even though I got full traction and all that on. But, mm. you know, I still find it relatively easy. <laughs> Okay, hashtag Legend has just come out and said, <laughs> hashtag of controller. <laughs> oh dear. In fact, you only yeah. need half a controller. You need three buttons, that's all you need. I'm way too lazy for the wheel. It is a lot of effort. Um, as we start off Q3, Craggy is going to get us uh, off underway in terms of... Uh, <laughs> Quality times, uh, so we'll see what kind of lap he can put in as he comes around the fast right handers. Stick into that seventh gear, of course. Dropping it down to sixth. Does he lift? Just a little bit. See what it Aaron. You just not with the gifts, man. Let's <laughs> take that DRS on. Uh, what can he put in? 121.3. That's the fastest we've seen off. so far. <laughs> Starts off with an absolute scorcher. Randy Gandhi coming through in third. Well, now third, 122.7. Watnall sticking it in with a 121.4. This track must be improving all the time. 
It must be getting warmer and warmer, improving. Rossi coming in 121.8. Either that or they're uh, releasing some of the sand out slowly at the back. Blaze must have had some kind of issue because he's just putting a 149. Yeah, someone might have blocked him or he's just doing a sighter just to yeah. bring the tyres in gradually and in um, the flyer. Uh, Locker has invalidated. This is one man I want to see his lap time go up. What can he put on? What kind of lap time can he put up? Push it all the way right to the edge of the track. Whack that DRS on. Soggy salmon. What can you put on? It is... 121.9. Not his fastest, but he's probably using a scrub set. Yeah, that'll be a use set. Get a lap in, see what you can do, and then put on your... Wait, he saved a set from... Did he use a set of softs in Q1? He did. <laughs> 15 hours already coming up to the line in the alpha. What can you put in? He puts it P6 or 122.7. The Blaze coming in with 121.4, putting himself P3. Looks like he's got or went purple in set three there. Uh, is Locker. Locker's coming into the pits. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. we got a mortal that is. About to start it's a lap. It's going to be our next one. I think everyone else is coming to the pits. What we got going on in the chat? Legend saying very much so. Grabs the popcorn. Where's ours? We want some. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love some popcorn right now. He's got to be sweet though. I can't Sit handle back. the salt. Sit back, relax, kick it, and uh, watch these watch these lot race. Adam, keep it civil, shall we? <sighs> Yeah, but where's the fun in keeping it civil? No, I understand where you're going, Adam. Yeah, don't worry, we'll keep it as civil as we can. No promises Ooh. how civil, but yeah. Always civil. Enough. Um, am I saying Immortal's gone put in a powerful set for one? As much as I trust Believe that. that. I don't trust uh -huh. that. He is flying, though. He is. Pretty well for having to work. Shame that um, the Claire and Science couldn't do that. <laughs> well, we tried. I don't think anyone really had much of a chance against Max and stuff in the uh, last season, but we'll see. Saying that, what was it? Uh, was it McLaren that revealed their livery today? Yeah, and then, orange and black instead of yeah. orange and blue. And then more comes across the line, puts it on the P4 121.7. I, I prefer the orange and the black instead of orange and I think and I blue. do. But then there was, um, I think I see something about um, a, a video put in from Mercedes there just dropping early Feb. Yeah. I think it's like the 5th of Feb while I'm away. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Game, I get to miss it. I'll be, uh, I'll be busy enjoying myself on Vegas. So. <laughs> you won't have to hear my voice for two weeks. No. I know it's oh, sad, no, isn't it? I'll miss, I'll miss you for a bit. <laughs> no, you won't. Well, I get a replacement. <laughs> I might, yeah, I might have to get Aaron on the old driver's tree. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, I am missing Italy. So it's Monza and Japan. And I'm back for Imola. What a race to come back to, Imola. Yeah, everyone's in. Oh! The mortal, there's a wall there. Can't hit the wall. Mm. 
caught the ball on the inside of the pits. Sorry, the outside of the pit wall. No, it's fine. I was just reading the chat between uh, Grave Digger and Days. Um, maybe. Maybe keep it out the uh, out the stream chat, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and that replies to both uh, of you, not just one of you, both of you. No, for both, yeah. Uh, Le AK Legend asking, where's my boy Slicks at? Slicks is racing tomorrow with us, isn't he? He did three. Three, yeah. Yeah. He's still, uh, still learning his wheel, but he's, he's getting there. He's improving. I won't be getting a wheel for the next couple of games. Yeah. You know you want it, Rod. You know you want it, Rod. They're, they're actually... I, I wouldn't go back to controlling it now. I, I'd happily quite say that, but I wouldn't go back. Yeah, I'll... Um, well... I will get one. It's just having the money to get it back. And if I'm going to get it, I'm not just going to get a wheel that sits on my desk. I want, I want to do it properly. <laughs> Have you seen what Aaron's putting in the chat? Locker should get a pen for it. Overtaking Watman in the pit lane. I didn't even, didn't, I missed that. Missed that, yeah. But if he did, naughty, naughty locker. Yeah. I'm sure if Watman was that cheese up about, I'm sure he'll put a clip in. Yeah. It's <laughs> Aaron. better from an Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, My Aaron. Xbox clip button certainly didn't miss it. You don't miss oh, anything, God. there, you little clip merchant. <laughs> we've got collie merchant, brace merchant, and then we've got a clip <sighs> merchant. I'm Who's on a lap? I don't know what I'm going to make a roll for that clip merchant. <laughs> is it Locker lock that's going to be first to go? Or is it what now? It might be what now. Let's, let's stay on board with what now. Or is it Rossi? Rossi on an app? Yeah, Rossi's on an app. Let's see what Rossi puts in and we'll flick to what now. <coughs> Chris Mick in the chat, admins do what they want. I'll be back in F4 next week, champ champ. <laughs> It does make me laugh. Is this new Rossi saying he's putting the purple sector two? Um, so we'll have a look and see what he puts down. <coughs> oh, sorry. I can uh, finish off in the um, rest of his lap for sector three. Come around the final corner. Can he stick it to the track? He does. Get that DRS down. And he puts it on provisional P3 with 121.4 Randy Gandhi obviously finishing there with a 121.6 and P5 um, not a bad run so far from the Avatari boys not a bad run who have we got on a lap we've got apologies what no who finishes in provisional P2 on a 121.4 so the uh, top three engines at the minute, Mercedes, Ferrari, and Red Bull. Mm. Locker just coming around the last corner on the straight. What no doesn't improve, stay second. Locker goes up to P6. Nifty goes up to P5. Drops the Locker Alpha. down to seventh, and Gandhi into sixth. Craggy just improving his time at the top. Oh, he he just blitzed that. Uh, Craggy for uh, <laughs> He F1. did blitz that last lap. Yeah, that that's a bit bit nuts if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, no end of Q3. Twenty point um, eight. That is. Um, Disgusting, but in a good way. <laughs> Craggy, oh, the bit's coming in now. Craggy for Div 1. Yeah. <laughs> Get this guy out of Div 2. <laughs> I wanted to go back to Div 3. 
Uh, yeah, I we won't say the TF are, bit. Um, uh, well, where you belong, Craggy, if not up more. There are uh, people under the age of 18 watching this, so <laughs> <laughs> we'll take that bit out. Oh, dear. Aaron, you, and you're one of them, you should uh, wash your mouth out with a bit of soap. Yeah, I hear you got school in the morning. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> unless you, unless you started on Project Littler and got the dance floor. Out. <coughs> uh, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Doing it so for my throat because it's on fire. No, it's all good. Um, I will. <laughs> Get race director up and go through our grid. So P1 is Craggy in the Williams, Watnall in P2 in the Haas, Rossi P3 in the Alfa Tori, uh, Blazer Guns P4 in the Mercedes, Nifty Nazri putting in a solid performance there in the Alfa in P5, Randy Gandhi also putting in a very solid performance there in the Alfa Tori in P6. <laughs> RSF1 Locker in the Aston Martin and P7. <coughs> Immortal in the Ferrari for P8. Soggy Salmon putting in a good performance as well um, for the Aston Martin in P9. Matty P10 with the Red Bull. Wee Biscuits also P10 with the Red Bull side by side. Um, Diamond Dushi in the Alpha on P12. Cornish obviously um, bottled it a little bit. With his uh, quali in P13. Zach High 5 or H15 in the McLaren P14. Charlie uh, in the Mercedes in P15. And the uh, Firefish Michaels in the Alpine for P16. Chris Mick P17 in the McLaren. Aaron in P18 in the Haas with the qualifying ban. Eagle with that unfortunate um, instant. Uh, losing it on the last corner and shutting the barrier in P19 in the Ferrari. And um, Elijah also with the quali ban in P20 in the Williams. So, how do we think they are getting on? Who, <laughs> Chris Mick? Let's go P17 to P20 incoming. Who do we think is going to be P1, 2 and 3 in the chat? Who do we think has got this race in the bag? Invade Matt going with Craggy, Salmon and Cornish. Thinking Cornish is going to pull it back. As they start their formation lap going round. Legend, what was Craggy? 120.4. He was definitely up there. Um, Lazen is saying with the P4 and Div 1, but Div 1 was short quality. Uh, Easton saying, let's go chat. Um, Sorry, Bob Sox saying, come on, Cousins lap. <coughs> so, our guys going round the track for a formation lap. Already gone through the lineup there. I'm waiting for my co-com to come back. I don't know if he's if he's back or not. I think he's gone to sort himself out. Um, but yes, looking forward to the race. 29 laps around the track of Qatar for Div 2 RSF1 season 10. Adam Moore saying what no craggy locker. That is pretty solid shout in terms of the times going whether Craggy can hold that P1 going into turn 1 or whether Watnall can take advantage of it in fact let's I haven't done this properly have I let's have a look at tyres what tyres has everyone gone for Craggy is on the mediums whereas Watnall's gone for the hards uh, Immortal also going for the mediums Charlie on mediums Charismic on mediums Aaron on mediums and Elijah on mediums everyone else on the hard Tire. Looks like I've got back just in time. So we've just been going through the 
Uh, I've already gone through the grid, mate, and then we've been going through tyre choices uh, for the start of the race. Um, whereas we've got Craggy up front, obviously, the Craggy and Watnall on, on the front of the grid. Watnall is on them hard tyres, and Craggy is on the mediums, which will give him an advantage off the start. But how how long them mediums last? Uh, are, you, are you all right, Rogers? Uh, I'm shivering not because I'm cold. I'm, I think I'm ill. I, I can't afford you, mate. I can't help you with that. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Need a master one from Cornish tonight. Hopefully, Cornish can put in a good performance. I know he has just DSQ'd and bled himself uh, in P13. Cooking for crayon. Aaron Masterclass. Craggy was in the mastery. As we start in Qatar, five lights and away we go. Slow start from Craggy. It is a slow start. But he's built up a bit of speed. Yeah, it's kind Can of Rossi right get down the Rossi's inside? got past Watnall. Holds it. Aaron's gone up. Him. Aaron's gone up six places. Who we did. Something's happened to Aaron. Where's he gone? What's happened? Between Aaron and Cornish. Oh no. Oh, Cornish has no lost. Damage. No damage six, for either car though. Six places so far. Aaron yeah, lost two. Something must have happened between this. Let's see if we can have a look on board. Find a look at Aaron's car. It doesn't seem to have any damage. No, Is that Elijah's up to can't see. Up four. Yep, Elijah, the biggest mover up four places, uh, followed by uh, Charlie and Mercedes up three places. A lot of non movers on the first lap, but I don't, you know, I don't think that's always a bad thing. Obviously, Watnall losing out on that second place there to his own team. Uh, no, not his own team, but um, to Rossi on the. Uh, Going into the first corner. He is right behind him now. Oh, instant. Blazer Guns is out. Pack There's slowing like right down. Virtual hitting. safety car. Gandhi's Pack out. Completely slowing down. What has happened there? I think Gandhi hit the back of someone. Uh, sorry, we also not happy with Aaron and Cornish. Not everyone that play. I tell you who's going to take advantage of this, Cornish, because he's just gone to the pits and put some new tyres and a new wing he'll, on. He'll put the right. hards on. Yeah. I could be wrong. No, Cornish put mediums on. What I will say is, I don't know if the game's glitched, but my... Yeah, okay, there we go, that's fine. They were saying virtual yeah. safety car, and I was like, mm, I am, I'm physically looking at the safety car, so it can't be a virtual. No, they just upgraded it to a full <laughs> safety car. So, it's definitely not worth putting this early on. Yeah, Jedi, normal Tuesday service has resumed. <laughs> oh, dear. Did it... Uh, yeah. Gandhi stacked it into the back of someone. I don't yeah, I know. He did. I didn't see it. It looked like he did. I don't know if anyone can confirm, but it did look like he did. Uh, stack it into the back of someone off the on the other straight. Someone has Shaqu a bit of a brain Shaquille, fart. Shaquille Oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, I had a bit of a brain fart, I'm not gonna lie. What can you have a bit of a brain fart with turning around a corner? Nazri's gone in the pit, unless he's got some damage. I'm not sure why. How do no so front nose. Matt jump five. Ah, yeah, there we go. He had damage. How did Soggy and Matt jump five spaces? Well, Soggy is up five. Yeah, Soggy and Matt both up five places. Biggest move is Elijah up seven places and Charlie up seven places. Nifty 
Well, I mean, he has just pit, so I can't really, I can't really say much in terms of down 13 places. Well, but Aaron, if Aaron stuffed it and there wasn't a collision with Cornish, he would be in 11th now. He would. He'd be up there. I mean, he hasn't got a bad set because I have pinched it for tomorrow. So, Grant, he said, "Can we get tires, please?" <laughs> uh, yes, sorry. Apologies. There you go. <coughs> no one's got penalties as of so. No, no penalties, I believe. Well, nothing's flashed up saying penalties. Yeah. Um, Nifty going on to them fresh mediums, obviously Cornish on the fresh mediums as well. Safety car is in this lap. Yeah, Elijah and Charlie are the biggest winners out there, they need seven places each. And then you've got Salmon, Matty, Biscuits, Firefish, Charismic and Eagle all gaining five places. The biggest loser at the minute is Nifty Nazri, dropping at 13. <clears throat> It'll be interesting to see what Rossi does off this uh, restart. Let's see if he can stick to the back of Craggy, but Craggy's gone. For anyone, if you're not following RSF1, please go and do so in the link in the description. Let's see if we can stick to the back of him. Seems to be sticking to the back end fairly well in the, in the hard tires for the minute, but he has got Watmore right behind him as well in that house. <coughs> Who I'm sure Immort is trying to make up positions from the Immortal one biscuit. The Immortal trying to go down the inside. Collision. Too wide. <sighs> Immortal gets it. I think he stuck it, he made it work. Yeah. Got Charlie right behind Biscuit now, though. One of my uh, teammates, but in a different division. <laughs> I'm guessing you're hoping for your team to win. I have no well, I'm this. saying that. I've got Michaels and Cornish. I'm hoping, but, you know, I do hope both of them do well for uh, Alfie, but yeah. We'll, we'll see how they uh, see how they get on in terms of uh, the race and uh, everything else that follows. Well, uh, at the minute, Michaels is doing okay for you. Zach oh, Zach just has a penalty. Three second time penalty. Which won't help at all. I mean, we did say earlier that the penalties will come into play around here. It's such a. A wide, demanding track. What? What do we just got, Rossi? Cornish has just lost a position as well to Nifty Nazri, so I'm not sure what's happened there. <laughs> but only Nazri and Cornish have done stops at the minute. Yeah, I think. You know they're going to be ahead of the uh, ahead of the game a bit, and then obviously Nifty's <coughs> getting on a bit. Aaron's trying to make a move with Eagle. They're going too wide. Oh, and good luck on that one, guys. Close racing. Oh, they've got an ad. That's why. Oh, these bloody ad breaks. I know, it's literally Aaron is on the back of that Ferrari. Chris, make three second time penalty. Oh. Aaron looking for the inside. It's like that side. Can he make it stick? Is he it does. a coincidence? <laughs> Craggy puts in the fastest level 125 on the uh, mediums. Stars, I was just putting in the chat. Is it a coincidence the PC boys are <laughs> 1, 2 and 3 at the minute? Um, I don't think well, Stars, so. if, you were, if you were racing, you would be number one, mate. 
bit, yeah. Oh, dear. Somebody else just picked up a penalty. Uh, Rossi picked up a penalty. In fact, let's flick over to penalties. Mm. Penalties, yeah, Rossi just picked up a three second time penalty in P3. So, obviously, that's going to take a little bit of pressure off. Um, <laughs> off three of, uh, seconds. That drops, a, that drops Rossi down to P8, I believe. So P6, P... Quite no. away, you know, the Six, seven, terms eight, of one or two. where we restarted from the safety car on, what, lap three. Mm. Cornish has had another yeah, pit stop. separated a lot. What? The only thing I can think of is if he picked up, maybe picked up some damage on, in between um, when Nifty was overtaking him. But apart from that, I don't really know why he's done another pit stop. Might have had Aaron's damage. got past Charismic. Um, oh, Aaron and Elijah. Oh, Charismic's trying to fight back. Michael's has just been overtaken by Elijah. Eagle's just got by Aaron. Charismic is on the back of Aaron. Oh, this is close. You got you could you could literally chuck a blanket over the four of them, really. Blanket. Or a tea towel. Uh, final. <laughs> oh dear. Um, no, it's good to see. Good to see. Who else? Who else is making moves? Soggy is still on the back of. Rossi, and then with that three second time penalty, I mean, that's going to make a difference anyway. So, net P3 currently for Soggy Salmon. Mm. Because the last one on track at the minute is Soggy and Rossi. Yeah, I'm currently on board with Soggy. Um, so, we'll stay with him for a little bit. I think the uh, Ars Charisma picked up another three seconds. Elias so Elijah. just picked up three seconds. No, Charisma picked up another one as well, so he's in six yeah. now. Oh no. I did say, I did say, Rodders. It's all about the penalties. Eagle right on the back of Fly through. She's looking for a move. He's gone down the inside. And this has allowed Aaron to get past as well. So, Mansell or Michaels or Firefish, not, not, whatever you wish to call him. Biscuits me, out! Right? Biscuits out! What? Safety car. I was trying to see if I can get a look of, of Biscuit's car. But, uh... Andy Gandhi's left. What happened to Biscuit? He got eaten. He got eaten. <laughs> got dunked in a mug of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Biscuits bend it turn one. Got too excited on that loud pedal. <laughs> he crumbled under the pressure. Unlucky biscuit, unlucky. So we've got ourselves another safety car, which I tell you what, it does mean. Oh. Does oh, kind of so bring apparently, back into play. Apparently, Matty, his teammate, hit biscuits. <laughs> oh dear. Ricardo Vettel all over again. <laughs> or was it Ricardo Max? No, it was Ricardo Max. Uh, it? Ricardo Max at uh, Baku, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, no, not good news for the Red Bull team. I'm sure they're going to be furious. Considering we said we were so highly uh, looking in terms of Red Bull this season it's probably not the best start that they wanted to see we're going to see a lot of people coming into the pits now which hopefully well, we'll give Cornish a chance to catch up um, but I tell you who has took advantage of this Nifty Nasri he's now up to P7 obviously mm -hmm. pitting earlier um, so no that's given him a good opportunity um, up 10 places of... Eagles up 14 let's have a look at tyres quickly so those that haven't come in the pits uh, Watnall still on the hards Rossi still on the hards and Soggy still on the hards whereas Immortal 
it's the closest to the front out on the mediums uh, and then Nazri on the six lap mediums behind him um, Michaels has made some positions up there with the hards we'll see mm. how it pans out later for him um, but yeah that is really unlucky for there for, for Wee Biscuits I think he was getting on hey man Matty seems to be doing fairly well up there really in, in terms of the uh, the pack but it, it sometimes happens yeah. and it's ten times worse when it's your own teammate yeah oh, there is a rule don't crash into your teammate <laughs> is that a rule or is it just Curtis mm, well it's a rule within the team let's put it that way <laughs> so what will, will be the one to get us underway Cornish yeah. is now caught up is it good anyway he's going to have to absolutely spank it around in that out he's, he's going in the pits again We're not safety cars out for another lap. Yeah, if you can put the mediums back on, get advantage of the mediums. Um, so the ball sucks in. I know how that feels. It's not great. Uh, Stars often saying yes, Mundo, like you did to me in season eight. Well, your car shouldn't have been there then, should it? <laughs> car was there it was a stupid car to begin with <laughs> yeah <laughs> let's call this back out the pits uh, on the mediums of course um, if he can well he definitely going to catch up to the pack um, and we'll be on the freshest tyres we will go back to what no <laughs> days days have just said uh, oh but not enough times <laughs> I might add <laughs> Who's he talking about, you or uh, Orphan? Uh, probably me. Crushed into the back of stars. Fair enough. <sighs> it's all happened. Mm. We'll make some I'm yawning because I'm. How many yawning because I'm shivering? Um, I'm yawning because I'm tired, man. I work early, so. I'm oh, I've got early tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, I've got to get up at 5 30. Yeah, I'd rather you than me. My alarm goes off at five thirty. I don't get up here. My alarm goes off at four. Sorry, not four. Um, what five. Is, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, goes off at five. What? As <laughs> the uh, <coughs> safety car is coming in this lap, we see what will slow down uh, to a snail's pace. And I've never worked out whether that is the driver or if that is the game slowing them down. Because sometimes it is the game itself. Uh, no, I think it is the driver. He's gone. He's gone straight away. He's not messing about. What not is just going for it. He doesn't care. He just wants to get on with this. He has got Rossi all over the back of him. In fact, side by side, going into the first corner. Rossi will have the inside. Craig is right, right on the back of Nazari. Craig, Craig he gets Nazari. Some fresh tyres as well. Michael's up to P6. Go on, sir. Let's go back. Who is the closest? Probably Craggy. Craig, as Craggy gets by. Oh. Oh, has he? That was a bit naughty, that was a bit of a quick comeback on track there, Craggy. In front, right in front of Michaels there. <clears throat> Matty 
side by side with Nifty Nazari as he gets by in the Red Bull. Diamond D Shield in the back of uh, Nifty as well. Please, I uh, just don't do don't do what uh, Wee Biscuits and Matty did. Craggy making time on the back of Eagle. As Charlie gets by Nazri as well. And by Diamond Dushi at the same time. Two for one for the Mercedes there. Yeah. Oh. Craggy's just got past Eagle. Charlie's just got past Dushi. Tell you, there's too many there's too many overtakes going on at the minute. I, I can't keep up with the stream. <laughs> Soggy is close to Rossi. And Morton is close to Soggy. See what happens here. Please don't Lock take has just got by Nazri as well, and oh, Michael's has just picked up a three-second time penalty. It's not going to help you, Michael. Oh, it's not going to help the Alpine cars. It's really not. It's Cornish, Cornish. also picks up a three-second time penalty as well. Um, I'm not sure what's happening, Nazri. Your penalties are three seconds to Rossi, three seconds to Michaels, three seconds to Elijah and Cornish, six seconds to Charismic, and three seconds to Zach. Did you see what happened to Nazri? Uh, runners? N not at all. Because he just dropped a load of places, and then I know he's quite fun, but I don't know if he's got. Damage. Uh, no. No, it doesn't look like it. I don't know what's he happening. He might. There. He might have just done like a half spin or something. Maybe. Rossi picks up another three-second time penalty. Craggy's just got by Immortals. And the Williams. And straight on the back of Soggy. Which I think he's, as far as I'm aware, on the fresher tyre. Yeah, he's. He, well, eight laps, fresher tyres, so... So he is, just said Craggy, Matty, Charlie and Diamond should come motoring through. This is close as well, between these, I'm currently watching uh, Rossi, <laughs> Rossi Soggy, um, Craggy and Immortal. There's nothing between two of them, like two temps between all of them, each individual of them. Soggy goes a bit wide there, leaving the door open for Craggy. Oh, what? <laughs> what a move that was. What a though. move by Craggy. Anticipated the move from Soggy, double anticipated it, two places on one move. <laughs> what a move from the Williams that was, driver. That was close though to the back of Soggy. That was very close. Speaking of the ex Williams driver, he's just picked up a three second time penalty. <laughs> uh, Aaron's the clip merchant. Oh. I wonder if he's clipped Don't that. Don't worry, he'll get that removed because he'll have a clip for that. Don't you worry. Yeah. <laughs> Admins, don't <laughs> remove it. Oh, I still can't get over that move from Craggy. That was that was nuts. As uh, <laughs> Locker gets by Eagle, uh, straight on the back of Charlie. I really don't know how he pulled that off because you couldn't even fit a piece of paper between the front wing and the rear wing of those two cars. No, that was that was crazy. Uh, I'd love to. Sorry, I'd love to get. Um, probably can't. He's on PC, isn't he? I'd have to say if he if he does get into the interviews, ask Craggy about that move. That was that was nuts. Um, changes all over the place. Um, Ross is in the pits. 
as Locker makes a move around the outside of Charlie to then down the inside of the next corner. Um, Matty, Diamond Dushi and Immortal are so close to each other. To be fair, uh, Rodders, we did tell these boys to put on a show and they are definitely putting on a show. So, Especially with these two of... front drivers. <laughs> yeah. Well, Craig and Watnall, obviously, Watnall's on a 14 lap old hard, so it's not um, not going to be much of a fight for Craggy, but um, it's whether Watnall can try and stay with him until he needs to pit. Going to guess he's going to go on to the mediums. Um and see what we can get out of them. Uh, we're over what hi over halfway now through the race. It's game over now mm. for what? Not a lot to split them. Game over. Yeah. <laughs> As we have our new race leader, Craggy, coming on the uh, first corner. I think, it's, like I said, um, I think it's going to be whether he can stick to the back of Craggy, stick to the back of that until he needs to. Uh, pit and uh, go through it a bit well currently the oldest lap tyres on track Watnall and Soggy Salmon both on the 15 lap old hearts who hasn't made a stop um... Chris making that for 3 seconds that's 9 in total <laughs> Cornish has made three stops. Yep. Uh, compared to everyone else that has made one, and Song and what still to uh, still to stop. Uh, in terms of penalties, yeah. So it's not looking great for Chrismic on the nine seconds. Rossi on the six. Firefish on three. Uh, Elijah on three. Aaron on three. Cornish on three. Zach on three as well. As Watno has peeled off into the pits to go and get which and fresh guessing, boots for that uh, car, fresh tyres for the mediums. Soggy still leaving it out on tracks, <clears throat> so we'll see what kind of lap he can put in. Um, and we're gonna guess he's gonna probably pit within the next one lap or two laps um, off those hards because I think they are starting to die. Dire away, really. I've, I've got to watch this battle, Aaron and Elijah. Oh, go on. Go on then. We did have a bit of rivalry last year. Um... Well, it's, Ar it's Cornish, Aaron, Elijah, and Charlie. It's <gasps> probably even bigger than. <laughs> Let me say, Charlie went off track there. Oh. Well, all I, all I saw was Cornish right behind the back of Aaron. I almost would say Cornish needs to take him out to dinner first, but... Probably you ought to see uh, Elijah and Aaron. They are... Uh, I've got them up at the minute. They're, they're all really close to each other. Even um, even Locker's probably in the mix as well there. They're not, not Locker, sorry. But, uh, they're Charlie and Locker, maybe. Is it Locker? Cornish. Probably is, yeah, Cornish, sorry. <clears throat> Soggy's just pitted. Where does Soggy come out in comparison to what no what no will assume is gonna get by third it will he might come out behind this battling pair, yeah. Yeah. So all on the back on quite fresh tyres. 15, 15 old lap mediums, Nazri is gonna have to pit. And then what do we reckon with mm, nine lap old hards or nine lap old mediums should need to pit? They will need 
<clears throat> if Craigie can build up enough of a gap, I can see he can make these tyres last, but it's going to be a hell of a risk. As Aaron and Elijah are still scrapping, even with Cornish behind him. Cornish fancies a bit of... Oh, uh, Cornish! Oh, just... Has Cornish gone? Someone's gone. the rear end and hit Elijah. Zach's capitalised on top of that and got past Elijah. Elijah is not going to be happy with that at all. Um, as Cornish gets a three second time penalty um, almost quite rightly for that dress oh no Soggy Salmon has picked up a three second time penalty no Salty so Ballsack in the chat saying the tyres will go to the end but they'll be screaming come in the last three laps I know the mediums will be absolutely screaming. Well, <coughs> if Raggy can build enough of a gap, he can lift oh, it off and still win yeah. this. But yeah. Cra it's Craggy with the um, yeah, Eastern saying hards will be chill. Yeah, uh, it would be the medium runners that the yeah, issues we'll see. Yeah, mediums will blow up. Yeah. Well, if he can build like a five-second gap to do shit. Yeah. And then he just takes it mm. easy. I reckon he should be okay. Yeah. One person that definitely isn't going to be okay with his tyres is Nifty Nazari on them 16 lap old mediums. He's going to have to pit soon to come off of those. Um... <sighs> yeah. I would say soft, but I doubt they'll go to the end in 10 laps. Mm, 9, 10 here. laps, probably, probably not around here with the screaming heat. Um, unless uh, Eastern or um, Salty have any thing to say otherwise. Um, but, yeah, we'll see how they get on. What will Nasri hoping for a safety car? And Nasri's not hoping for a safety car, he's praying for a safety car. Softs will be chill from now, so Eastern thinks... There we last in. Which we do see Cornish gone to the mirror to the soft tyres, so he obviously thinks the same. Um what no with those fresher mediums now up to P six. What is the gap to the leader? Seventeen seconds. Seventeen seconds, nine laps to get seventeen seconds on fresher medium tyres. It is possible, but he's going to have to push the hell out of those mediums to uh, get back up there. Um, right, what's the closest battle on track? It's is... a chill from now. Or mediums to chill from now. Yeah. Surprise, Nazri went mediums. Mm, so am I. If he'd have gone, was it um, or was he already on? He might have already been on the. Uh, Craggy's Crack, Crack, bitted. Craggy Crack, has. <coughs> and Charlie has as well. Why has Craggy appeared? He's probably gone on the softs. No, he's not. He's gone on the mediums. Mm. Why has he done that? As Aaron no. picks up another three second time penalty. That is really strange. Unless it, uh, the only thing I can think of is if he's he he has if if he doesn't w catch back up, um, then he has literally just bottled the win. Oh yeah, definitely. And I think he has. With what nine laps to go? Yeah. Um, so he's saying fastest lap question mark. And then must have massively under fueled or. Uh, or if they're shot on fuel after two safety cars in a VSC. Mm -hmm. um, but Craggy's definitely trying to put his foot down to catch back up with these guys as Watnall is making pace or headway onto the back of Aaron. In fact, who's Aaron's in the pits. Diamond Dushi in the pits. Watnall's going to come through uh, and collect that net P1 
or provisional P1. The only thing uh, I can think moment. of with them is that their tyres are actually starting to go off. Yeah, they're going to have to be. Um, as Diamond Dishi's putting on a set of softs, Aaron's put on a set of mediums. The only thing I can think of is he's not got on another set of uh, softs. Why are they pitting? I, I don't know either. I don't understand why people are boxing. Aaron could have made it to the end. And so could have uh, Diamond Dushi. I'm not sure why they're putting. This Cornish just stuck it. Uh, fastest lap, 124.1. Where is Cornish? Down the 16th, 16th, unfortunately. Oh, yellow. Oh, it's only a car mm. off track. So, shall we, Mr. Rodders? Let's have a look at penalties. So, with. Charismic's gonna go down if it stays like this. Currently, it's what P <sighs> four. <sighs> Soggies. There's gonna be some changes, but not a lot in the top two. I think Charismic's gonna be. He's got too many penalties to not make a change between them. Um. Matty and Rossi going at it down the start finish straight. Side by side. Cornish another three second. Matty's in front of Cornish. Uh, Cornish. I think there's two Matty's sets side by Rossi. side. There's these two and then the two behind them. What, Matt and uh, Matt and Rossi scrapping and uh, Diamond and Craggy were scrapping as well. Soggy's caught up to the back of uh, back of Charismic. Obviously, Rossi's on the back of uh, Matty and <coughs> Diamond Dushi on the back of this as well. I mean, what do we think of the race so far? Uh, what I think there's been quite a bit of action. Quite a bit of overtakes. We obviously had that crazy, crazy overtake from Craggy. I feel like I'm not going to say that he's ruined his race, but he definitely could have got to the end on them tyres that he was on. Um, Is that with a three second? So, what, what do we reckon? Do we think he can pull it back to get onto a podium? Where is he at the minute? P7, but he's got. Four people in front of the mm, panties. No. No, there's too much of a distance there. Five laps. Five laps to do basically ten seconds. It could be done, but... Look, well, twelve just seconds. Got a, just got onto an ad break. Um, I, I don't think Soggy's the 12 seconds he can do. Uh, <laughs> Salty, sorry, Grave Digger, Soggy is on for P2. Salty, Charismic, uh, Cornish Battle of the Most Pens. <laughs> yeah, I think that is definitely going down. Um, invade Matt, they yeah, just threw it as a terrible, terrible strat. It, it was. Uh, if, if Craggy doesn't pull something out of his ass, essentially, he's scrapping with Locker. Um, He's, he's fumbled, fumbled the bag, essentially. Uh, Craggy will only move up due to pens, and then he'd go to P6, probably. Michael's yes. with another three second. Um, P5, because out of Chris Mix, nine seconds. And then just got it all comes down to, and this is what we need to probably remember for tomorrow, Michael, so if, we, if, we, if, we, if you're racing tomorrow. Uh, not Michael Rodders, apologies. <laughs> um, is that it's all down to the penalties. Stick mm -hmm. it within the track lines and keep it on the track. 
I'm gonna do my best. Three seconds for Rossi. Rossi's picked up another three seconds. So there is, there's a nice little challenge going on between Hornish, Zach, Rossi, and Chris Mick. Um, <laughs> lovely little challenge between them. What you should do, maybe a little, make it a little challenge every week. Um, but yeah, definitely with uh, over half the board with uh, Gregs' Dom Dushi's just made a move past Charisma. I think what no is just just running away with it. I think Craggy's kind of realising that there's not much he can do. I swear I just saw someone come into the pits. Rossi's just come into the pits. With... So it's Craggy. And Craggy with Craggy's retired. Craggy fumbled the bag and retired. From, I did just notice Rossi's on 14 seconds of uh, time penalties. I don't really understand why he's retired with what four, four three laps to go. I don't really see the point there. You, you'd have you'd have thought just get finished, get some points on the board, be in the first race. Someone kill me, killed me. Someone killed me. Did they? A back marker. So he's obviously hit a back marker. Uh, he's hit a back marker. He's and is that, a, is that why Rossi's pitted as well? Then I'm guessing. Probably. Um, closest battle is looking like it's Nifty Nasri down in P12. Apologies, missed that craggy, but I'm not sure what um, what happened Charlie. there. Immortal G. So he's saying he had a, he had a collision with Immortal. Not sure. We missed that on stream. Um, but yeah, I've seen another three it. seconds. Send it in. Patronus is just saying there isn't any back markers. I don't. Has anyone been? No. No. But yeah, Mortal isn't. Wouldn't have been a back marker. It'd have been racing. Mortal was two places back now. This is lap 23. No one has been lapped. No, nobody has been lapped. <clears throat> Cornish is probably in the closest battle. Uh, three attempts off the back of Eagle. But, I mean, it's not really going to make much of a difference. He's got 12 seconds worth of time penalties. Um, him and Cor <laughs> Cornish and Rossi definitely having a little battle there. Uh, Having a little battle there for most penalties. Three laps to go. Yeah, three laps to go. Craggy is not Craggy. Follows what? No, he's just running away with it as Elijah picks up a three-second time penalty, taking him up to six. Charlie just making a move round locker. Is it Elijah has retired? And Rossi picking up quickest lap on twenty-three seven. <clears throat> Not really, I'm sorry, I was just flicking through trying to find the closest battle. Um, 
really going on. Grismic picking up another three second uh, time penalty. Oh, we've got a yellow. Someone's. Cornish. Cornish. Is there, is there a uh, like a whoever's got the most penalties in one race in, in RSF1 or? Uh, we've had a couple of people get DNF for having over a certain amount of penalties. Okay, yeah, that that'll probably do it. <laughs> I think it, I think it's I think it's thirty seconds. Yeah, well, lockers looking all over the back of Charismic. side by side on the last lap. He's looking to make a move. Aaron's made a move down the inside. <laughs> Lovely move there, actually, to be fair. Um, he's also looking to make a move on Charismic as well, but, I mean, it's not going to make much of a difference. He's got six, six, extra six seconds worth of time penalties. Um, and as standard, I will flick over to Watnall as he does... Our race leader does cross the line um, in P1. I'll let you do the questions, I'm not feeling too good. <laughs> Cheers, brother. <Radis. laughs> that's fine. No, seriously, I ain't, I ain't feeling good at all. No, that's good, mate. If you need to go, you can go. Um, I'll, Diamond I'll Dushi. I'll stay until the end, but I think if I talk anymore, I'm going to be sick. So. No, that's all good. Um, Diamond Dushi in um, P2, Soggy Salmon at P3, Matty P4, Locker P5, Charlie P6. Immortal, uh, P7, Nifty Nazri, P8, Aaron, P9, Eagle, P10. And I will get the rest in a second. <laughs> Driver of the day from the game is Aaron. Not deserved. Well, yeah. it seems a bit dodgy to me. I would say it would be craggy for that how, insane. How much move did you pay him? But... Uh, how much did you pay him? <laughs> <now? laughs> um, can you do me a favour, Ronis? Can you invite the top three into the party, please? Yep. And I'll just go for the rest. Um, where we go up to? So yeah, Eagle P10, um, Michael's uh, Firefish in P11, Charismic P12. Zach in P13, RSF1 Cornish P14, Rossi P15, Elijah um, P16. Uh, we did have a couple of DNFs in terms of Craggy, Wee Biscuits, Randy Gandy, and Blazer Guns. What no? I can't do. He's on PC. He has got an Xbox account, but I don't know if he'll switch to it or not. Diamond, I can't do interview. That's fine. I can be interviewed quick if you can hop in. What no? Um, can we just count it back to the lap bars in P2? You was on your Xbox count the other day. Hang on. Right, everyone, I am actually going to go here because I feel awful. Yeah, that's fine, Rodders. Thank you. Uh, thank you to uh, Rodders for the uh, bits on the stream. Uh, hope you feel better soon, mate. I hope I feel all right for tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully. All right, go get some rest, uh, mate. Oh, guys, thank you. Have a nice evening. I hope you enjoyed the stream. <coughs> and I'll catch you all tomorrow for my race in F3. Okay... Who have we got? Is it just you, uh, Soggy? Have you ticked the, ticked the box? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm trying to get Watnall in. Do you have him on Xbox? No, I've not got him. Okay, fine. Um, 
What, Null, if you can get onto your Xbox account and then I can try and see if I can get you in. Um, uh, sorry. Sorry, one sec. I've just added um, what no let's get you in the party <laughs> Apologies, guys. <clears throat> Just a bit of delay in terms of the um, interviews. Anyway, while we wait for um, what not to uh, join, um, Soggy, so... P three, if I'm if I'm right, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, um, P three. But P three in your first race uh, in Div two, coming up from Div three in terms of you and Aaron winning the constructors last uh, last season. How did you find that? How was that for you in terms of differential in terms of racing between divisions? Yeah, I mean it was. I mean it wasn't too much different to last season to be honest, because at the front it was like Rossi, Watnall. Uh, me, Craggy, so I mean, them guys were all tier 3 last season, so mm -hmm. wasn't too much of a change to be honest. Um, didn't have the best of qualies. Uh, I mean, I did well in, Q uh, I was on for a point three, which would have got me P2, but I invalidated it, so a bit annoying. But I started ninth, so to get a podium from P9 is good points, really. And then Locker did a good job as well, so. Good points yeah. for the team. No, yeah, solid points from the Aston Martin team. Obviously, you put in some good moves there, good strat, keeping and sticking to your strat um, throughout the uh, race. Obviously, you did a little bit longer stint on them hards, which kind of, I suppose, gave you a bit of breathing room on the uh, mediums when you did switch over. Was that the strat from the start, or, or were you looking at changing it midway through? Yeah, I was always planning on going for a hard medium one stop, but I extended the hard strategy a little bit longer just because of the two safety cars just saved a little bit of tire wear. So I just thought I'd take the hards a little bit longer and then it would just make my life easier on the mediums. And then I was just unfortunately picked up a three second, which cost me P2 in the race. I know, we did see on the stream, we were, we were a bit gutted at that. But uh, <laughs> nevertheless, a very, very good performance on your, on your debut at Div 2. Um, and I'm sure the, the Aston Martin team will be very happy with the points that you and uh, Locker have collected. So no, uh, very good race. Yeah, cheers guys. Um, we don't have P2 in terms of uh, Diamond Dushi, but uh, obviously congratulations to him and his P2 uh, on the first race of the season. But what we will do is go to the man himself, Mr. Watno, on the victory for transferring from Div 3 to Div 2. Uh, first race, first victory. How does that feel for you? Have you... Apologies, what no? Did you tick your box? Oh, okay. 
I'm not sure. They're saying they can't hear you. Hang on. Uh, yeah, audio is on all set up. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. It's working now. I ticked it again. Can you guys hear him? Can someone confirm in the chat? Hello, hello, hello. Anyway, well, we'll carry on, Warlord. So, obviously, yeah, you, you and Craggy had a um, decent uh, well, battle in the whole race. Um, what happened into the... into Obviously, you qualified P2. Yeah. Uh, what happened going into that first corner? Obviously, Rossi seemed to get the better of you a little bit there. Were you just late off the off the start, or...? Yeah, it, it was just the start. He had a better launch. I don't know how. I felt like I had a good launch. I just went along with Craggy, but it was instantly beside me, so he just had a good launch, I think. Yeah, yeah. Seemed to pull it back quite quickly and then sit nicely, obviously battling in terms of Craggy um, throughout the race. Unfortunately, he, uh, oh, I don't, I don't like to say it, but he did, he ultimately fluffed his strap. Uh, I don't really understand what happened there in terms of the, the late pit and he could have gone on them tyres that he went to uh, or gone to the end. Um, but yeah, un unfortunate, uh, unfortunate what happened uh, towards the end there with the incident with Immortal, but obviously good for uh, yourself getting your first winner of the season hopefully um, many more to come and decent points for yourself and the team um, uh, what I will say is Craggy has just put in the chat saying he wanted that extra point for fastest lap and maybe going a bit too greedy cost him the race win but not for yourself what no no yeah congratulations on the uh, P1 and congratulations on the race win yeah thank you mate okay so that is it for tonight um, for division 2 RSF1 Season 10 opener at Qatar. Um, great race uh, from all. Some really good moves there. Um, Craggy putting in a, a, a good move, double move um, from what we saw on the stream. But unfortunately, the, um, well, unfortunately, Strat let, let him down. Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching the stream, guys. Um, as always, just tune in tomorrow to see the first race of Div 3. 8 p.m. hosted by Michaels and Stars Orphan. Um, this has been JPP, and thank you to Rodders for helping and CoCom with the stream. Um, and I will see you for some more Div 2 next week. Thank you very much, and good night.